Today we're talking about courtesies when you're viewing homes. We're going to get started right now. When you're looking at homes, it's important to remember that you are a guest in someone's home. Therefore, think about things like going inside and looking at the inside of the home before you go outside, get mud on your shoes, and then are tracking it through the house. On that same note, we recommend that you either consider taking off your shoes or at least putting on shoe covers if they're available. Um, you know, it's just common courtesy. You wanna keep the house as nice as it was when you arrived it should look the same when you're leaving. If you have children on your showings, we recommend that you either consider bringing along a babysitter or at least keeping them connected to you while you're in the home. It's not a good time for them to be picking up other kids' toys that might be in the home, playing with them, moving things around, touching the antiques, bumping valuables. Um, so again, if you're gonna bring children, we get it, I'm a mom of four myself. So I get it, but you just have to keep in mind, again, that you are a guest in someone's home and that you should keep your children with you at all times. Also think about the fact that it's not a great time for a restroom break. If you need a bathroom, I'm sure you can make stops in between your showings and think about how you would feel if a stranger or someone you didn't know came in your, in your house while you weren't home and then was using your bathroom. Not great, so keep that in mind. Another thing to think about is that you need to be aware that today so many people have video doorbells or security systems or cameras throughout their house. And while it's not legal for a seller or homeowner to record the video or the sound part of that, they absolutely can record the visual part of that. So keep your comments in check even though they shouldn't be recording, you don't know if they're sitting outside and have their baby monitor on or have Alexa or another smart device tuning them into what's being said. So keep your unkind, especially comments to yourself when you're in a home and take those comments up directly with your agent once you're outside the walls of the home. Anyway, when you're viewing homes, it's an awesome, fun, and exciting time. Don't hesitate to ask your agent to take a break in between if you need to stop and you know, grab some food or snacks or hit, hit a bathroom, take a bathroom break. It's okay, we're all accustomed to that, it's no worries. But again, the big key factor, the underlying factor I can't stress enough is just to remember when you're in someone else's home, this is a stranger's home most likely, and you wanna treat it with the courtesy that you would like if someone came into your home as well. So when you're finished, lights off, all the doors secured, um, you know, everything locked. Your agent's typically gonna be on top of that, but again, it's just a good idea to keep in mind how you would like to find your home when you get back home, if you were the one selling your house today. I hope that helps. We'd love to see you on more of our videos, so stop by next time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell, and we look forward to seeing you next time.